Hey, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Hagar. Welcome to Mama Mandala. We're going to take a moment to meditate and breathe with the space of imperfection. Because if you're like me and you have perfectionist tendencies, you know that that is not only the killer of joy, but the thing that sometimes stands in your way from moving in the direction that you wanna move, from living the life that you wanna live. And I know that for me as a mama, my perfectionism causes me so much pain because as a mom, I make so many mistakes and my human tendencies and my wounds, they do show up. No matter how much I work on myself, the imperfection shows up because things happen and sometimes life is really annoying and the kids can be challenging and, and I'm driving, I live in LA, I'm always driving, I'm always in traffic. So things happen and they take us off our center and of course we wanna center ourselves and ground ourselves and that's a part of what we're gonna do right now. But we also wanna leave room for life, for living, for the way that life does affect us. We don't wanna be immune to the, well, some people do, but the immunity to how life moves can take us away from connection. So we wanna stay open, which is going to cause us to be affected and influenced by forces around us. That's okay, we are relational beings. We are always in relationships. So our imperfection are doorways, they're opportunities, they're portals into deeper connection with ourselves, and with more than ourselves. So let's take a moment. We're gonna actually use this pranayama, samavritti, which, which translates as um, same waves, which invites us to even out the inhale and the exhale and the spaces between the breaths. And what I love reminding myself when I do it, because it is really helpful and it's very grounding and deeply centering, I love to remind myself that even though I'm evening it out, it's never exactly even no matter how much I'm counting and trying to keep it as a metronome, it's never exactly even. No waves in the ocean ever hit in the same space. We can never calculate exactly where the wave will hit. Will hit. Awesome. <laughs> That's the doorway into the way that life is a breathing, living experience, and so are we. So take a comfortable seated position. I'm gonna sit on the, on the ground on my mat and I'm wearing a skirt because why not meditate with a skirt on? <laughs> and I'm just trying to remind ourselves that we don't have to look a certain way or be a certain way or wear a certain thing to be a meditator or a yogi. And we're gonna just take a moment. You can sit not on the floor. You can sit on a couch or on a chair. I'm not very big on deciding exactly how it's supposed to be. It can change, it can breathe. You can sit up on a blanket if you need to be a bit more elevated and allow your eyes to soften. Allow the space you're in to receive you. Your eyes don't have to close right away. They can, they don't have to. You can take your time transitioning inwardly your hands can rest on your thighs or on your knees with your palms facing down or up. If you'd like to do a mudra, you can do chin mudra. Gently bring the thumb and the index fingers to touch. You don't have to. And bring your awareness to your breath, just very soft, not forcing it. Allowing the transition, again, to be organic and not feel forced. Watch the way that the inhale moves from the environment and touches you inside. And the way that what's inside of you then moves and touches the environment. And here we are in this relationality that we're always a part of. Bring a gentle tone to the back of the throat. So a very gentle engagement of the muscles in your chest, in your throat, so that the passageway of the breath becomes a little tighter and the breath expands into it and it's easier to actually slow it down. And it makes a resonant sound.
And you're taking this moment to unrush yourself, to break down the places where your tendencies are to force yourself to be a certain way and to rise to a certain role. You're being here with yourself, breathing. And the engagement and the tone in the back of the throat is a way for you to connect to what is moving through you, to how life is moving through you right now. And the breath is life, and it's how life is moving around us and into us and through us. And as we breathe ujjayi breath, as we tone the back of the throat, we're cultivating a relationship with life, with the power of life. And we're reminded that life's power includes us and it's bigger than us. So maybe we can release into that remembrance a little bit. Sometimes things don't happen how we wanted them to happen and the perfectionist in us can get really upset about it. And there are other forces all around us. It's not just up to you. You have a lot of power, a lot of say, a lot of agency. And there are forces around you that also have a say in what happens. It's not just you. And so you breathe with this relationship. The tone in the back of the throat is your engagement with what is happening and moving and pulsing through you. Empower yourself. And soften yourself. Receive how life pulses through you. and strengthen your capacity to direct it. You're not a victim, and you're not a tyrant. Breathe and weave your strength with your softness. your receptivity, with your sense of direction. And we're going to do a little samavritti, so we're going to breathe in for four, we'll hold the breath for four, exhale for four, and hold it out for four, to watch the evenness the balance that so many of us seek, being in the state of almost. It's not so exact. It's not perfect. It has room to breathe. So go ahead and exhale all the way out. And then inhale for one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, 
four, exhale, two, three, four, hold it out, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold it out, two, three, four, inhale, hold, Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Couple of more on your own. And the end of your next exhalation and holding out for four, you can come back to breathing without counting. A couple of more rounds of ujjayi breath. And you can release your ujjayi breath and notice being this receptive space of what this pranayama evoked in you. And even with that, be open to what's coming to you so that you're not forcing it to be a certain way, but rather honest with yourself. How? was it for you? What has it brought up? And notice the quality of your breath right now. Ask yourself right now for guidance. The next time something is something that you're doing, that you're engaged in, isn't going the way that you want it to go, and you are not how you want to be. What can you say to yourself right now from this space of a system that has been sitting for a moment and breathing already for a few minutes? What can you say to yourself the next time, the next times when the beating up of yourself starts to happen? Can you say to this part of you 
that has done something that isn't exactly what you wanted it to do. And what does the part of you that is beating you up, what does it need? Breathe with those parts, with all the parts. Breathe yourself in. What does the part that isn't perfect need? What does it want? Does it have anything to say to you? Ask it. What does the part that is beating you up, that is really upset about things not going perfectly, what does it need? What are the unmet needs of these parts of you? Ask them. Bring your left hand of your heart and your right hand of your belly and softly bring into your breathe into your hands. And receive from your hands the message that the imperfections are doorways for deeper conversations with both yourself and others, yourself and more than yourself. Fill your hands with the magic that you need in order to create a life that is human and flawed and beautiful and meaningful. And fill your heart and your belly with the message that you need in order to live this kind of life. beautiful, meaningful, and flawed. And join your hands together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra and this gesture that is the heart's deepest offering embodied. And make that offering on the altar of your life on the sacred space within you and that space that connects to everything that is around you. Return to this meditation, pranayama, as many times as you need. Return to the messages that you receive from yourself as much as you need. And if you like this, Put a like on it, share it, and subscribe to this channel so that we can hang out in these imperfect and receptive spaces. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.